Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have seen a lot of guys getting confused between slice and splice. What's the difference between them? Where to use slice? Where to use splice? To answer all these questions, I have created a small video on the same. Let's dive into the concept now. You can think slice and splice to be the functions that helps in fetching subarray in JS. Let us first talk about JavaScript slice. Assume we have an array with 5 fruits and we need only 3 fruits from position 1 to position 4. In this scenario, slice function will help us create a new array with the required 3 fruits. The important point to notice here is that there will be no impact on the original array. It will remain same. Now we will talk about how to use slice. Here you can see the syntax of slice. It takes two parameters, start and end. Both of these parameters are optional. Slice uses zero based index. What zero based index means? This means that the element at position 1 can be referred with index 0 and the element at position 2 can be referred with index 1 and the element at position 3 can be referred with index 2 and so on. Slice function returns as a new array with the shallow copy from start to end. Here the important point to notice is that end is not included. Now we will learn more about slice with the help of few examples. In this example, we are going to use slice without any parameter. Here you can see that we have an array with 5 fruits and we have used slice function without any parameter. In this case the output will be same as the input array. It will duplicate this array for us. In the example 2, we will use slice with the only start parameter. Here you can see that we have the input array with 5 fruits and we are calling slice with the only parameter 2. What this means? This means that we want a subarray from starting position 2 till the end. Here you can see the output. So in this scenario, when we have the start index and we want the array till the end, we can use slice with a single parameter. In example 3, we are going to use slice with two parameters. Here in this example, you can see the same input array with five fruits and we are calling slice with two parameters, two and four. This means that we are going to start our sub array with the index two and will end at four, where four is not included. Here you can see the output. It contains only the element at position two and position three. In example four, we are going to use slice with the value that are not in range. Here you can see in this example, we have the same array with 5 fruits and we are using slice with the parameters 10 and 12. 10 and 12 both are not in the range of this array. So the output will be the empty array. In example 5, we are going to use slice with the negative index. What negative index means? Similar to the positive indexes like from 0 to the end. We have negative indexes that starts from the last position. So here minus 1 means the last element, minus 2 means the second last element, minus 3 means the third last element and so on. Here in this example we have used slice with the value 2 and minus 1. This means that we want to start our sub array from position 2 till minus 1 position. That is the last position and minus 1 is not included. So here our output will be the array with the element 2 and 3 or we can say minus 3 and minus 2. Now we will talk about splice function. Similar to slice, splice function can be used to fetch a subarray with a little variation. For example, if we have an array with 5 fruits and we want the fruits from index 1 to index 4, then if we will use the splice function, it will give us the required array. But the important point to notice here is that it will delete the returned object from the original array. Now we will talk about how to use splice. Here you can see the syntax of splice. It takes n arguments. First argument is start. This tells from where to start deleting. The second one is optional. It takes delete count. This means that how many elements we want to delete from the original array and rest all the arguments are the replacement of the deleted values. Splice also uses zero based index similar to slice. 
it returns the deleted array from start to the number of deleted count and the important thing here is that it updates the original array also now we will understand this with the help of few examples in example 1 we are going to use splice function to delete the elements from a start index to end of the array here you can see that we have an array of 5 roots and we are calling the splice function with the parameter 2 which means that we want to delete all the elements starting from index 2 till the end this leads to the deleted array with index 2 to 4 and updates the original array with the index 0 to 1 in example 2 we are going to use splice function to remove elements in between the array here you can see that we have the array with 5 roots we are using this splice function with parameters 2 comma 2 which means that we want to delete 2 elements starting from index 2 which leads to the deleted array with the index 2 and 3 and updates the original array accordingly in example 3 we are going to use splice function to replace elements of an array in the example you can see that we have the array with 5 fruits and we are using splice function with the parameters 2 2 and 2 fruits this means that we want to delete two elements starting from index 2 that is we want to delete pear and carrot and in place we want to replace with grapes and banana this leads to the deleted array pear and carrot and it will update the original array accordingly in example 4 we are going to use splice to insert the elements in between array without deleting any element here we are using the same array of 5 fruits and we are using splice function with the parameters 2 0 and 2 fruits which means that we are going to delete 0 elements at the position 2 and in place of deleted elements we are going to replace with grapes and banana in this case we are not deleting any element so we are inserting grapes and banana at the position 2 this leads to the deleted elements empty array and the original array will be updated accordingly in example 5 we are going to use splice function with a negative index similar to slice we can use negative index in splice also here you can see that we are using splice with minus 4 and 2 which means that we want to delete two elements starting from last fourth position in this example we want to delete element from position 1 and position number 2 which leads to the deleted elements this and the original array will be updated accordingly now we will talk about the difference between slice and splice slice function returns the selected elements whereas the splice function returns the removed elements and the most important difference between these are slice function does not change the original array whereas splice function changes the original array where should we use slice in case we want to duplicate an array with shallow copy we can use slice without any parameter also if we want to get a subarray without changing the original array we can use slice where should we use splice in case we want to remove some elements in the array we can use splice if we want to replace some elements in the array then we can also use splice if we want to insert some elements in between the array we can use splice that's about slice and splice i hope the difference between slice and splice is clear now i have done my job now it's your time to share your feedback or suggestions if you have any queries please comment thank you so much for watching keep coding see you soon with another video